Hey, how are you going? So I got my hands on these really cool uh, lithium ion cells uh, that have a thousand milliamp hour capacity and are have a 10 amp magic current draw. And so I figure if I play my cards right, I can probably make a 2S lithium, a lithium ion cell that is going to be about 40 grams and has a thousand milliamp hour capacity, which uh, in my mind is pretty incredible. Uh, so if you are interested, come along and I'll show you what we're going to do. So we're going to experiment with these 1000 milliamp hour cells. Um, they weren't free, uh, but I figure for a super lightweight lithium ion pack that's going to perform better than my lithium polymer cells, uh, I'm willing to give it a shot. So these are the cells. I put them together just like any other typical like lithium ion pack you're gonna you're gonna find out there there's a million instructions on the internet on how to do it so i'm not gonna walk you through how i did it i'll say my main concerns uh with this are that once my voltage starts to get a bit lower on these cells it is a 2s configuration that uh my motor or esc uh is just not going to be able to uh provide enough power um but It'll be an interesting experiment, and we'll have to see what the results are. All right, we're out here today to test out this brand new battery that I've come up with for my trusty ZOHD drip. Weather's been absolutely crap lately, but uh, finally got a sunny day here with clear skies and uh, no wind. And I'm just gonna be flying circuits around uh, these fields here trying to keep really close to where I'm at because if there's anything that ends up going wrong with this battery I want to be able to find the plane and there's a decent chance that might happen uh, the main thing I'm actually concerned about is the fact that the um, 5 volt BEC that's on board the Maytech flight controller it may end up cutting out once I get down to below 6 volts on this battery planning it to run it to about 2.9 volt, 5 volts per cell and I'll show you the data sheet. I'll throw it on the screen here or something. But uh, if you look at the data sheet, that should give me about an extra like 10% left to work with to bring it in for a landing. So if all goes according to plan, uh, we should be up in the air for a long and boring flight. But it's going to open up some great possibilities for future flights down the road. So uh, let's get up in the air. So I got up in the air and I'd been flying around for about 15 or so minutes at this point. And my objective here today was to stay up just as long as possible. There was almost no wind that I was having to be worried about. So I was kind of expecting this to be optimal conditions for flying uh, with the Amion battery, where I don't have to be pulling a whole lot of current out of the cells in order to keep the uh, plane moving or in the air uh, at its optimal velocity for flying. Once I've been up to about in the air for about 15 minutes, unfortunately, what seemed to be happening was as the cell was getting down to like 3.2 volts, I'd noticed that it started to get really wimpy in terms of its ability to stay in the air. And so what I wanted to do was just really extend the amount of time that I was keeping the air in the plane in the air with low, low throttle. Uh, that was getting to be a greater and greater challenge as time went on. Um, just kind of once it got under 3.2 volts per cell, um, I couldn't gain altitude. I wasn't losing altitude, but I couldn't gain altitude either. And that was just a matter of like the motors or something just not really being able to work with the voltage that I was feeding them. Anyways kept the plane running for a little bit longer and by the time it got to about 19 minutes and I was down to like almost three volts a cell I just decided to call it there 
I was trying to get the plane down to uh, 2.95 volts per cell because there was a little bit of extra uh, capacity left at that point according to the data sheet, but I realized that that just wasn't going to be a possibility. So, all that considered, I brought it in for a landing. So I wasn't planning on doing this today, but I got one of these little lithium-ion batteries uh, kicking in my pack here, and I'm at a, out at a new flying location, and I figure, okay, let's uh, give this another shot, see what we can get out of one of these little guys. Uh, last time, got about like 20 minutes flight time, uh, hoping to get something similar this time, just to get a better sense of performance and uh, about how long I can expect to be up in the air with one of these. Um, yeah, uh, anyways, let's uh, get up in the air and uh, check it out. Here's the story. So, kind of once I stopped recording, the voltage dropped really quickly. Uh, I, at least it felt quickly from like three and a half to the three and a half volts to like 3.3 and I was two and a half clicks out and I knew based on a previous flight that this thing was going to start to get really sluggish and not be able to really uh, gain any altitude whatsoever uh, if I didn't if the voltage got down to like 3.2 volts and that was just like pretty risky for me uh add to that i was crabbing into the wind and i was worried that i was gonna get swept uh kind of into a point where i couldn't use the wind uh to my advantage to get back to me so i uh, started thinking about okay gonna stay stay above these fields if i need to ditch at least it'll be easy to find um but at the end of the day i uh, made it all the way back so we're golden. Uh, as for the performance, I uh, got about 14 and a half minutes out of the uh, cell, which is like not, it's not great. It's about the same as my LiPo cells that are about 900 milliamp hours and at least those cells, I don't have to freak out about them losing uh, voltage towards the end of their flight. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, gonna probably stick with 900 milliamp hour lipos for most of my flights and only really bust out the uh, lithium ion cells if uh, I uh, really need it. It's a bit of a bummer, I <laughs> did spend a bit of money on this experiment, uh, so uh, yeah, like and subscribe, I guess. <laughs> uh, uh, I hope it, w hope it was worth it, but uh yeah, so would I recommend these? Eh, probably not. I don't know. For like doing mid-range flights and that sort of thing, just stick with the lipos. Uh, and then if you're looking to stay under 250 grams, uh, the drift just might not be the plane for this. Uh, it's fine. Uh, I got other 250 gram planes that I can play around with for long range stuff. So I thought I'd give it a go though. And uh, I learned something. Hope you learned something too. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you later. Cheers.